and welcome to a new edition of Back Tech. Today we have a brand new segment for you. We are doing a little bit of computer repair on our Apple product here. You can solve most of your computer problems with Apple just by repairing your permissions and checking your your disk to see if it's running properly. Most of the problems, including wireless and Safari problems, can be fixed just with this simple fix. So let's get started. So you can go here to the bottom to your disk utility or the easier way is to click on Finder here and then to go down to um, Utilities which is on the bottom and then you're going to click on Disk Utility and you're going to click on your um, storage unit here which is the, the Weeping Angel in this case with our MacBook Air and you can click on verify or repair disk permissions so what this will do is repair any problems that you're having with um, permissions on your disk in order to make sure that you have access to those files so you can just click on repair disk permissions here and since this is an SSD hard drive it's very fast, flash memory is very quick, so it should it only should take a few minutes compared to a normal hard drive with moving parts. It normally should take maybe about 10 minutes depending on the size of your hard drive. And so most of the time when you see this, things will pop up showing that there's repairing permissions um, if you're having any permission problems. So here we show the um, permission repair is complete. There were no problems with permissions. However, you might have a different case. Um, and so then you can go next to the um, verify disk, which is here on the right. And so this is just to check to make sure everything is running properly. All right, so now you're done with your verify your permissions and you have verified your disk, but let's say that your disk is corrupted and you get a error message saying that this needs to be repaired. You can't repair that disk while running your um, operating system here. So what you have to do is you have to boot from a USB drive um, or a, a CD. And in most cases, you want to boot from a USB drive, which is a little bit easier to make. Um, so what you have to do is go back to your disk utility And you're going to click on your USB disk, which needs to be large enough in order to fit all of the operating system onto the USB disk. So mainly try to get something at least five to six gigabytes, depending on your operating system you're running, um, to fit onto this USB disk. So what you want to do is you want to click on um, your USB disk, and click on partition, and click on one partition so you're going to reformat your drive meaning it will erase everything on your USB stick just your USB stick not the actual hard drive so this 8 gigabyte Kingston drive will be erased so you click on one partition name your your device and then you click on Mac OS extended which is the right format you click on options to make sure that the guild partition table is selected um, versus the master boot record. So you definitely want this one for everything to boot properly. So you click on OK. Then you click Apply. So your disk will be erased. It should only take a few minutes depending on the size of your disk. So that's done. So now it's completely erased and it's ready for uh, making a boot drive. And so what we use here, this is a great tool to use for booting up, is called Disk Maker X. Um, it's a very great tool which is downloadable for free um, online. And so all you have to do is you click on it. And it says, welcome to Disk Maker X. And so what you need to do is shut the um, Mountain Lion, Mavericks, or Yosemite buttons, depending on which 
um, software you have installed uh, onto your Mac. And so in this case, we have Yosemite installed. You have everything formatted on your USB stick, so everything's ready to go. So you just click on Yosemite 10.10. .10. And so it finds a copy of the Yosemite in your application folder, which would be here. So you click on Finder, and it's in your applications folder. So you install it previously already. Um, either that be Yosemite, Mavericks, or Mountain Lion. And so you can click on Use This Copy, and you will choose Use the 8 gigabyte USB thumb drive, which is what this is. So you click on that, or you can click on Use a Different Type of Disk, depending on which disk you're using. You click on 8 gigabyte. And so you click on the disk you want to choose, which is the untitled one, which I have here in the corner. Click on choose this disk. And so it's just warning you that your disk will be erased. And so it will ask for administrative privileges, of course, so you'll have to type that in. And so now it's going through the process of formatting your drive for the for your boot disk. So during this process, a lot of windows will pop up and it will ask for your password. So you put in your password and it will start making your boot disk. So now you, you wait. It takes about five minutes um, to do this process and when it's finished you can use it as a boot disk. Um, what you'll have to do is plug in your USB before you restart and you'll click on either option or control. Um, you can, hold down either of those buttons, option or control, during your boot up and the USB stick should, should appear. So what you, you'll see is you'll see your hard drive, your USB stick, and sometimes it'll be an extra partition for repair depending on how you installed your operating system before. You click on your USB which has the Yosemite on it. So then you'll go into this utility here on the bottom after you boot up with your USB stick and then then go through the whole process again of repairing your drive. These are the normal things that you can do in order to prevent any other repair problems or permission problems or disk problems. Um, sometimes if the disk is beyond repair and it's an actual physical damage you'll have to replace the hard drive completely. Um, that will be in our next video we will show you how to repair a hard drive and replace a hard drive with a new hard drive and reformat everything to where it's working properly. With these repair tools you can pretty much repair any type of software issue um, that may be going on with your computer. Um, without having to take it to the Apple Genius Bar you can repair it yourself just by checking permissions and checking your disk and most of the time reinstalling the operating system. Um, but the next time we will show you how to do hard drive repair and that will also repair most of your problem that you may be having. You can see now that DiskMaker 10 is now finishing up the install. It normally does take a little bit of time so you need Please be patient. Your Yosemite install disk should be finished now. As you can see here, you have the Yosemite install disk, which I have opened, and it is fully functional. You can insert it into your computer before you start up and repair your disk. Back to computing signing out. We'll have more repair guides very soon and other different segments. So please tune in and now we will go out with style.
Thank you.